You may have seen the half-inch hydraulic ram pump available for sale at landhouse.com. Very amazing pump. It operates with only one gallon per minute. Probably the easiest pump to work with because it uses so little water. But what if you don't have one gallon per minute in your creek? Enter the 3 8 hydraulic ram pump. I like to call this the world's smallest ram pump. I thought that we would uh, toss this out in the creek today and see how well it works. I have 20 foot of drive pipe here, which is 3 8 inch inner diameter to match the two check valves of the pump. And I'm gonna be sticking this into my bucket here that's the intake of my other ram pump. So just plop that down in there. And then I'm going to prime this drive pipe by siphoning water out of the bucket into this pipe. I'm gonna stretch this drive pipe out and see if I can get a few feet of head pressure down the hill here. At this location here, I have about two feet of head pressure, which should be more than enough to test this out. Get the drive pipe set here. Well, it looks like two feet is not quite enough to get this going. If you see uh, it turns to the side, it will close here. But we want it to have the highest efficiency and have the check valve straight up and down. Oh look, it's going on its own now. I wonder if I turn it upright. Okay, so it stops. To get that to work, I've got another 20 foot of drive pipe. Hopefully the added pressure will allow this to run at full force. So let's try it out here. Let's see if the added head pressure is gonna make much of a difference on this pump here. Yeah. So ideally we would like this to sit up straight up and down and work without any issues here. After working with the pump for a little while, I was unable to get it to operate with the check valve straight up and down. But here with the slight angle, it seems like it is gonna be working just fine. Let's see what kind of pressure we have here. Not bad. So next we're going to be hooking up a delivery pipe and testing out how high we can go with this setup. In order to get sufficient length of delivery pipe, I have added an adapter here to a half inch delivery pipe. It will then go uphill here for testing at a higher height. Okay, the delivery pipe is now full, which is gonna help in getting pressure built to the pump. So now we have to find a place that this will hang up in a tree. Okay, here's the setup. I have the intake in the bucket over here which is going down the hill to the pump, which is right down there, with approximately three feet of head pressure. Then it swings on around, comes up this way, and goes uphill, up the tree, to right here, which I'm assuming is about 14 feet in the air. Okay, I'm gonna get the pump going and see if we can pump water up such a high hill. I've spent the past hour trying to get the pump to work on its own in the upright position, and I believe what's happening is there's not enough volume of water coming down the 3 8 inch tube to activate this brass valve. So somewhere between the 3 8 inch and the half inch is a threshold where there's not enough uh, ram to get this going. So not the uh, results that I was looking for, but it certainly does give us uh, some information. So if you want to find the world's smallest working ram pump, I would definitely stick with the half inch because the 3 8 is just a little bit too small. Thanks for watching. I'm Seth Johnson with Land the House. If you have some information that may get this pump working, I'd love to hear it. One thought I had was Maybe hook up 
a half inch drive pipe to the 3 8 inch ram pump. So that might be the next test done with the world's smallest ram pump. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.